Hello, everyone. My name is Joe, and I am a developer advocate at Dragonfly. Today, I would like to share with you how to migrate from Redis to Dragonfly with zero downtime. So for those who are not familiar with Dragonfly DB, it is an open source and community-driven project, which is the next generation in-memory data store. Dragonfly is able to achieve 4 million QPS on a single instance, which is very hardware efficient. Dragonfly has more features than just the high throughput, and you are very welcome to check it out at uh, our website, dragonflydb.io. And all the code examples we're going to use today are available in our public examples repo. And I will put the link in the video description below. All right, let's dive in. So we already have a few strategies documented for migrating from Redis to Dragonfly. Some examples are snapshot and restore, performing a replication, and sentinel promotion. The list from top to bottom is kind of like from the easiest to the hardest. But to be honest, even the hardest one is not that hard to set up, which is the Sentinel promotion technique. I'm going to show you in a few minutes. So first of all, what is Sentinel? Sentinel is a high availability solution for Redis. It is open source, and it is a great tool. It is a monitoring tool, a configuration provider, and most importantly, it can perform automatic failover for a primary replica setup. Essentially, Sentinel is a Redis instance running in a special mode. It provides the functionalities listed above here, and it doesn't provide data manipulation functionalities like reads and write. Sentinel can also be a cluster. By doing so, it provides high availability for itself. All right, let's take a look at the migration demo using Sentinel. We have our example project here. Um, it is the leaderboard project we're going to be using today. A leaderboard is a very classical application you can build with the Dragonfly or Redis API. Um, we won't go into details in this demo, but essentially uh, it uses the sorted set and hash data types in order to achieve uh, real-time leaderboard functionality. You can always find the readme file for this uh, demo project and uh, it has all the details you need to get started. We also have this Docker Compose file ready, and it will set everything up for us. Right? In this demo, we have a few things. We're going to be running a source Redis instance, which is the instance we're going to be migrating from. We're going to have a Dragonfly instance, which is going to be the instance we're going to migrate to. We also have three Sentinel instances, and they will become a Sentinel cluster, as I described earlier. And finally, we'll have the leaderboard service application running as well. Right? It's, the, it's the service that, uh, that we wrote in Go, and it will be relying on the uh, Redis and Dragonfly instances to serve the leaderboard functionality. Awesome. Let's head to our terminals. So on my top terminal, I'm going to run the Docker Compose up command within the leaderboard repo. By doing so, it creates everything in the container. Nice. So now we have everything running. And uh, we want to check our uh, source Redis instance and our Dragonfly instance. So on my bottom left terminal, I'm connecting to the Redis, the source Redis instance using Redis COI. And let's double check that it is the correct instance using the info server command. As you can see, it is a uh, version 6 Redis instance. We can also use the info replication command to make sure that currently this Redis instance is a primary and it doesn't have any replica connected to it. Similarly, on my bottom right terminal, we're going to connect to the Dragonfly instance, which is running on port 6380 at the moment. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to find the information of the server. And as you can see, it is a Dragonfly instance version 1.10. We do keep some Redis output for compatibility reasons but this is indeed a Dragonfly instance. Also, this Dragonfly instance is also a primary instance by itself. 
So the leaderboard application exposes only two basic HTTP endpoints. The first one, it can increase the score for a user. And the second one returns the top users. I'm going to issue a bunch of HTTP requests one by one so that we have a few users in the data store and along with their scores. And finally, if I try to fetch the top users, yes, that works. We have an API um, that can return us the top users from a leaderboard. Let's head over to the terminals again. Let's clear this and clear this. So on the Redis instance, let's check what keys we have. And as you can see, we have the keys. Um, this one is the sorted set, and these are the hash data type. So yeah, they're here to back the leaderboard API we just saw. And on the Dragonfly side, we don't have any keys at the moment. What we have right now is a topology like this. We have a three instance Sentinel cluster, and they're all monitoring the Redis primary instance. We also have a Dragonfly instance running aside, and at the moment, they are not related to each other. Next, what I'm going to do is to issue the replica of command on the Dragonfly instance. Heading back to terminals, here I'm going to do replica of and specifying the host and the port within this uh, Docker network. So it is the Redis source instance, and the port is the default. And as you can see, by issuing this command, the Sentinel cluster is aware of the topology change. And after a while, it becomes stable again. And if we issue the keys commands again here on the Dragonfly instance, as you can see, all the keys are replicated over from the primary. Again, just to double check, let's issue the info replication command on both sides. Now, the Redis instance is still the primary, and it has one replica that's been connected to it. And on the Dragonfly side, the instance became a replica. So what we have achieved is a topology like this. The Sentinel cluster is aware of both the primary and the replica, and, it's, and the cluster is monitoring both. I put dotted lines here because if a replica goes down, the Sentinel cluster wouldn't worry that much, but they do indeed monitor both the primary and the replica. Nice. So now we have a Sentinel cluster monitoring both the primary and the replica. And on the Dragonfly replica instance, where we already have all the data from the primary instance as well, as you can see here. Right? What if I issue the shutdown command over here? So if I do so, the Redis instance is going to be shut down. And as you can see, the Redis instance is offline at the moment, and the Sentinel cluster is aware of that, and they had a discussion about which instance to promote as the primary. Because at the moment, we have only one candidate, which is our Dragonfly instance in this topology, it will be promoted as the primary. So at steady state, it became like this. The, again, the Redis instance is offline, and our Dragonfly instance became the primary. The data is still here, and our API still works. That's it. By that, we achieved a zero downtime migration from Redis to Dragonfly. Let's recap what we've seen during this migration process. So we know that Dragonfly is highly compatible with Redis. It uses the same Redis serialization protocol. Also, Dragonfly supports more than 220 Redis commands at the moment, and we're adding new ones every day. Let's explore what happens when we issue the replica of command. So what happens is that Redis creates a snapshot, and then the snapshot file or the RDB file is being copied over to Dragonfly, and Dragonfly is able to load it. If there are additional write commands during the syncing process, they are also captured and streamed over to the Dragonfly instance. For this part, it's, it wasn't part of our demo, but it's essentially what the replica of command would do. Throughout the migration process, we know that 
Dragonfly is highly compatible with Redis in terms of the protocol, the commands, as well as the snapshot files. Due to this level of compatibility, we can use Sentinel to perform migrations from Redis to Dragonfly. In newer versions of Dragonfly, we can even use the replica of Flag to initialize the server so the primary replica topology is established beforehand. Sentinel is a great open source tool for high availability solutions. And as you just saw in the demo, um, it is a great tool for migration as well. However, despite the fact that we had zero downtime during the Sentinel promotion process when the cluster was deciding which instance to promote as the primary, it was zero downtime. But we may experience some unresponsiveness from the Sentinel cluster depending on the configuration. Consequently, at Dragonfly DB, we're building our cloud offerings, which can offer an even faster and more reliable switch for migration and version updates. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.